new from Kickstarter. Hi, I'm Richard the Cool, and my new product, the Tushin Cushion. It will help you and your flat butt cheeks. Or, if you just suffer from no acetal, like myself, and other men, millions of men all around America, can't go anywhere with flat butt cheeks. Listen to a few of the, I would say, humbled customers. I spend all day in a garage playing video games, and I gotta tell you, it's bliss. But what isn't bliss is when I am sitting on my, my stool chair, and I suffer from no acetal. Social cushions really help me out. Thanks. Hey y'all, I'm a truck driver. This is the best investment I ever put in. These tuition cushions last all day, long hauls, all that. Sometimes I forget I'm even wearing it. Damn, these shoes are so good. Thanks again, RTC. You're the best. Hey, it's Chuck Bucks from Booze and the Dudes. And I'm a celebrity uh, endorser for the uh, Tushin Cushion. You know, I grew up my whole life without no ass. and Didn't realize I had a, uh, a disorder called no ass at all. But as soon as uh, I tried this product from RTC and... Well, you know what? I don't have to pull up my pants anymore. Well, there you have it. Three satisfied customers with no ass at all. No ass at all. And they use the Tushin Cushion. Maybe you should too. Now remember, Christmas is coming up. Make sure you get yours at Walgreens. Use promo code Big Bucks or Booze in the Dudes. That was Ramshine <laughs> Deutschland. Deutschland, Deutschland. Deutschland. Yeah, I think the lyrics is Deutschland, Deutschland. <laughs> no, you just started counting. Um, but I was, I was, I, Michelle was playing a, uh, my wife was playing a, um, a song and it came up, um, it, um, Du Haas. And I was like, man, I really, I really miss Ramstein. <laughs> Put that on. Deutschland was one of the top tracks. I was like, I'll play it. It's badass. So, anyways, <laughs> that's what we open to. And it has nothing to do with this ap- episode. Or does it? Or does it? I, I per- personally like uh, Sturt, which means music box. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Forgot when I asked you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, DK has been gone for uh, probably the last four or five episodes. Maybe f- no, maybe about three. We don't do a whole lot of episodes on podcast one mm-hmm. unless we get paid the cheddar. <laughs> and like I said, there is some commercials right now that you're hearing that Subway, Home Depot. We, we don't get <laughs> checks. Okay, so you don't have to go there. Go to Quiznos. <laughs> Find one. Jersey Mike's. Go to Jersey Mike's. Support anything else. Lowe's. Don't go to Subway. Lowe's. Fuck Home Depot. <laughs> Fuck Home Depot. <laughs> Anyways, DK has been Murphin. Uh, <laughs> He's been missing yeah. in action. What has been going on, DK? Man. Wait, wait. You want to guess first? I already kind of know, but I, I okay, made well, sure he still, didn't explain it. I you bet, can guess. I bet, I'm betting you didn't think that, though. I didn't. Well, when I first... I actually... Offered you guys to go to the concert, which Aquabats and People Mover, yeah. which was an awesome concert. As yeah. you see behind me, I kind of really uh, regret that I didn't. People go. Mover went, and it was only like 150 people in the whole place. It was like a place as size as the as the Booze and the Dude Studios. But I mean, sad. it was awesome. But Brandon was having a great time. Yeah, uh, he, you know, um, the commander was like letting him sing. There was a guy with no legs that they got on stage, <laughs> right? But it was pretty funny because like. I don't even know if I talked about it on the, no. on the on podcast. They were kind of carrying him over, 
And they're like, put him on stage. This guy was rocking out like this, right? Like, but he was like, you know, he he had no torso. He hit, literally only had it was like it was chopped off right here. It was his chest, that all chest. And, it was just chest. It was chest and fucking <laughs> arms. And this guy kind of looked like you know he he looked a little creepy. <laughs> so they're like, movie? Yeah. why not us? <laughs> he looked like a freaks. Yeah, he looked freaks, like a yeah. yeah yeah. He looked like a Pokemon. <laughs> and they threw his. They said, get him on stage. Get him on stage. So they're like, yeah. Mark was like, you know, get him on stage. So. <laughs> Instead of kind of gently putting this guy on stage, toss we tossed him <laughs> on stage. So he fucking <laughs> <laughs> and he like he kind of did this roll, and then he kind of recovered, and then he just went ape shit crazy. Yeah, time of his life, bro. No, but here is the thing. Okay, he started hanging on to oh no MC Bat Commander's um, leg, and like. Like, Commander was, like, trying to go with it, but, like, he's like, oh, man, leave the fuck alone. Right? And he's, like, losing his mind, right? But he's humping. He's like this. And fucking, he's really strong because he's all arms. That's all it is, yeah. And uh, so he goes over to Crash, and Crash is, like, the dude with the beer, plays the bass guitar, really the less tolerant one of the Aquabats. And he's oh, like, no. fuck you. <laughs> so, gotta beat him away. And this thing Shoot, goes, shoot. So this thing goes, okay. <laughs> this <And then> thing? <laughs> <laughs> he goes, I'll tell you why he's saying that. Okay, because he's going over there and he's like all arms and he he goes over to um, he goes over to Bones Eagle Bones, which is the you know the, the lead guitarist and like you know he tries to hang on his leg and Eagle Bones is like okay man like fucking fuck off. So this guy gets so crazy. He grabs a water bottle and then he starts throwing it on the fucking crowd, right? Like oh, he's part man. of the fucking show. So at this point, it's kind of awkward because like all the acrobats are feeling awkward. The crowd's like, <laughs> what the fuck is this guy? And so he gets on like two speakers and like levels himself up Climb where he's kind of balancing. And, nice. and he's just fucking staring at me. <laughs> 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 and he's just fucking like this. <laughs> staring at I don't know why I didn't fucking take a picture. I was kind of like. Like watching a train wreck, and you yeah. just don't want to look away from it. Yeah, that's, so that's the time to look on the camera. Exactly. Bro. So I was like, "Oh it was, shit!" It was an omen of things to come, or something. Like it that. was unbelievable. And then, luckily, he was doing it right when, like, they were singing "Burger Rain," which was like the their closing song right before intermission or mm-hmm. encore. So it just the lights turned off, and and then they were able to kick him off stage because I don't know how else this motherfucker would have been kicked off stage unless he literally kicked him off stage like a field goal. I mean, this guy was fucking. <laughs> Is you know, a white equivalent to World Star? Like that seems like a white version of that. You know what I mean? Well, I mean, white people are on World Star too, aren't they? Normally getting beat up. <laughs> yeah. I'm talking about like white, exactly. crazy person shit. We're, like we're represented either way. <laughs> and then there was the another mouthy way. motherfucker. He was like, he's like, yeah, uh, <laughs> people mover from the Stone Age, <laughs> and they're like, way too much Red Bull. <laughs> <laughs> But People Mover is basically a band of three uh, yetis. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, they play um, rock and roll music. But anyways, it was great. Great time. Uh, Wish you guys were there. But anyway, we have not seen you since then. And I know SG wasn't able to make it, you know, uh, had a family emergency. But you told me you were having a shit day. You're like, I don't feel right going. So explain exactly what's been going on in the last Well. Couple weeks. Uh, to, to, to quote uh, basketball, it certainly is raining shit on DK Murphy. <laughs> it sounds like it. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it wasn't anything like super horrible, but we had we had just a my family's had a string of real bad luck. Um, let's start off. Uh, I got tore up one uh, Saturday night. No, no, I'm sorry, Friday night. Lost my wallet. So even though I got. Where were you at? Like at a friend's house or something? Or yeah, well, um, yeah, my my, my homegirl took me to some friend of hers out in the um, the east end of San Bernardino, you know, like past the college. And that's, that's wait, that's south. Okay, yeah, oh, no, I'm that, sorry, the west end. That is RTC. Can you let him in, SG? And you know, I was we were drinking and we were doing drugs. Yep, that's mm. right. Mm. And uh, yeah, I just lost my wallet. I think I like I left it at Seven Eleven or something. Yeah. So even though I was able to get some money out from my bank, I was just like I, I felt so nervous about everything that I just the fuck that smell. So you went you went out drinking, doing drugs, doing drugs, debauch, mm-hmm. doing drugs, and basically 
the the worst thing that happened that night is you lost your wallet. Yeah. Okay. No one protect your sex or another than strangers. No, no, no. Well, my my home girl. I don't know. My home girl. <laughs> Survey lesbian, says. So. I know. So I mean, no. But I'm talking about another person there. It was a house no. party. No, it wasn't a house party. The heck was that? Oh, I'm not too sure. Whoa, some shit going on in your garage. Oh, what the fuck? Ghosts. Anyways, that was a yeah. sound clip gone wrong. <laughs> so much money, you lose. <laughs> but not yeah, no, no. It was yeah, how much money was in the wallet? Oh, only like five bucks. <laughs> All right. And more, then, more like you know your credit cards and all that shit. I canceled yeah. them the next day. I woke up. I canceled yeah, but them. Still, you still lost them. And yeah, and it, yeah, it, it, it put me in a really shitty mood. Right, so, exactly, because you're not can't, can't go places without an ID unless yeah. you have an alternative ID. Oh, I did get my ID. For some reason, my ID was not in my wallet. Nice. So <laughs> okay. that's how they would get some money out of my straight out of my bank. There you go. Yeah. Now that was <laughs> that was the plus. first thing. Yeah, that was the, that was the first thing. Then um, my dad was hit by a car. <laughs> like walking or like in a car mm. himself? <laughs> <laughs> uh, on his motorcycle. Fuck. Whoa. He broke his femur. Fuck. And that normal happens. He that. says he broke his spine, but like Fuck. I'm like. On the freeway or was he drinking? What, what was this? What was it details? We, oh, yeah. We, we so thought that he was drinking, but he right. wasn't. He wasn't. Oh, okay. It was just somebody else was a shitty driver, hit him on his motorcycle. He. Crashed and burned. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, fuck. He he's getting out of the hospital on Saturday, but like, oh, he's still in the hospital. How long has he been in the hospital for? Car. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, About two weeks now. On a motorcycle is different than a car, bro. And he got to get that settlement. (laughs) He got surgery. If anybody fucking took a picture of the car, if you're on the ground, was it it a hit run? I don't know. I don't think so. I think they, they they the person stayed. Uh, apparently, here, see, here's the thing. Here's the thing is that it wasn't a bad crash, but my dad's in his sixties, so it's not like you know his bones are in tip top. Oh, it's kind of yeah. like a Hulk Hogan wrestling in the eighties. He kind of took a leg drop, yeah. and he's like, "Fuck, yeah, dude, no yeah. my hip." No, I've done no too many leg drops. Exactly. So he, uh, we got we got to kind of pr- prepare our place for him now because he's You're making it sound like he died. Yeah. <laughs> no. Welcome to the show, uh, Mr. RTC is here. Uh-huh. Ladies and gentlemen, and gentlemen, and he was late, fashionably. <laughs> yeah, that was a nice sloth too, uh, carrying holder. Uh, anyways, we're talking so, about DK's bad day because we went and enjoyed bad, a couple the of weeks Oxabats well, the beginning, concert, the and he lost his wallet so far going out, and his dad got hit by a car, broke his back. And yeah. broke his back. You step on a crack. <laughs> <laughs> you step on a crack, you break your back. Break your daddy's back. Yeah. You break your daddy's back, dude. That's what and happened. You know how you were talking about you felt so white trash today? Yeah. This is how white trash we were. We were sneaking him vodka into the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he would call, bring vodka. And I'm like, God damn it. Joe, and then, <laughs> if you love me, you bring vodka. <laughs> yeah. I'm in pain. Bring me my medicine. I'm a lot of pain right now. It was too, and, I, and like I remember, I'd like go in the bathroom, with baby bottles, and I'd say, "Hurry up and drink this, though, because I don't want them to smell it." Yeah, but instead, it was like a like a like a <laughs> like a chest bumper. What do you call the titty bumpers? <laughs> like he had to like suck from your titty. <laughs> he just suck the vodka out. <laughs> he was always every time I visited him, he was always like fifteen minutes into being high on painkillers, so he would just be on like, top of the vodka. Oh, yeah, shit. Dude. Yes. Yes. They're legit, bro. They don't fuck around. Yeah, the, 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 <laughs> his son was just doing alcohol and drugs at some random party the day before. Yeah. Some random Aren't guy. They giving I never him free met. heroin over at the hospital. Yeah. Yeah, like keeping him doped up. Yeah. He wasn't kind of. I don't know. That's that clean heroin. But too. it's more, but also like <laughs> yeah, exactly. We, we'd always visit him just before he was going to bed because that way we could leave like when he was just about ready to time. And you could help him go to sleep by giving him vodka. Holy yeah. yeah. Shit. Shit. So <laughs> then uh, thanks, <laughs> Thanksgiving happened, <laughs> which was also. Basically Black Friday because mm. now the Black Friday sales start on Thanksgiving, mm-hmm. and I worked a fifteen-hour shift. Okay, so what was your speech? I know you gave a speech to the fellow security guards right before, <laughs> right serious? before the big rush of Black Friday. How did it go? I, I, I went to them and go. This is where we hold them. This is where we fight. This is where they die. And one of the, you guys don't know, Joe looks like that guy. <laughs> <laughs> and then one of the one of the newer guys is like, "Aren't you being a little melodramatic?" And I just I immediately took every uh, war, war movie war movie quote. Ma, you don't understand, man. When you see this happen, you're gonna get the thousand yard stare. <laughs> heads heads explode like grapefruits. <laughs> <laughs> Giving her all they got, Captain. So 
you got to do all the Scottish. How things. many people t- attempted to steal during Black Friday? Oh, <laughs> what? How many per hour? More than the question. I think so we, this is Sparta. We caught three shirts. people, and then in the very last hour, we caught two more uh, trespassers coming in. And, uh, and we, we meet trespassers. I know. How do you trespass, you trespass in Walmart if it's open? <laughs> no, no, we, we, hey, get out of here. You know you're not allowed to. Get, get out of here, exactly. man. It's no, Black Friday. You steal. You're now, uh, you know, and we you're know your face. You're blacklisted. Yeah, you're, yeah, you're blacklisted. Yeah. And literally, it's like I've got maybe five minutes before, my, before it's time to go home. And this homeless guy with a black eye, I recognize, I recognize the black eye. Get the, <laughs> get the fuck out of here. Blacky black. Uh-huh. Black on black He's crime. Black, black on black eye. He's a black guy with black, 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 guy. black guys. Right, and right. then he flips me off the finger. And then as soon as he leaves. Joe's <laughs> like, you want another one to go with him? <laughs> yeah, yeah. As he's walking out, this other heroin white trash bitch walks in. And we, and we were like, get the fuck out of here too. What do you think you're doing? How do the um, – do they kick everybody out right before Black Friday and make everybody you, stand in a line? <laughs> Uh, no, it, it was the strangest thing. They, hey, Auntie, go they back used home. To, yeah, they, they used to do that, but now it's just like and start. Oh, really? So yeah. everyone's in the store and they say mm, right now. It, they, they've got all these. They've got all this <laughs> they, merchandise. They it on the mics. That happened right now. They mounted on the mics. And three, all, two, one. All this merchandise and with notes on it that say not uh, viable till six p.m. Oh, so you can shit. shop. So you can start store. shopping, putting that shit in your. Shopping cart. Oh, they don't want you to touch that that stuff. Not yet. Not till six. Oh, do you, you, can, you, can, you do you protect it? Kinda. <laughs> <laughs> so if I want to buy a two hundred dollar PlayStation, I go in there and say, mm, you know, you're like, Mm-mm. I don't have the keys to the to the. Uh, all oh, the that's right. Locked. For the good yeah. shit, that's locked shit, up. Yeah. They only yeah. give them so much power. <laughs> they, they, I, <laughs> Correct. <laughs> my friend Sana, the one that was hanging out with when I lost my wallet, I told her, "Hey, I'm going to be the lead," and she was working with us still. And she goes, "I hope you don't become a fucking dick and let the power go to your head." <laughs> Too late. Oh. Um, so okay. that sounds like a good part, though. That sounds like a oh! like... fuck. What okay. happened after that? <sighs> so, fifteen-hour shift killed me, but like I really needed the money. Um, because Holiday pay, bro. Now, oh, here's now here's where it gets even more crazier. A second car uh, car incident. We're leaving the hospital with my dad. And I think I was actually gonna. I was, I was going to his place. Or no, no, I was, going, I was going to Redlands. And my mom wasn't paying attention, and she hit the car in front of us. Like hard, or just like barely tap touch shit. No damage to her car, but she damaged the car in front of us. I mean, and like were you guys driving, or was it just like a tap? She was going kind of fast. Not yeah. not like not like like twenty or thirty, but like you know ten, maybe twelve. And I was, I, she just wasn't paying attention. She was trying yeah. to change lanes in bet- in the intersection. Yeah. And I'm like, oh god. For some reason, she always does that. Whenever we need to be on, like, the left lane, she'll stay in the right until the very last second. And we're trying to get in the freeway. White people. Yes, I guess. It was your mom's fault? Yeah, she tried to blame me, and I was like, go fuck yourself. You're all, I'm not driving. <laughs> yeah, she goes, you kept pointing. You kept pointing. I'm like, well, you're on the wrong fucking side of the, mm. of the street. <laughs> I hate when your parents try to, like, blame you for their car crash. Yeah. Like, I told my dad one time, I said, look at that airplane. Which He's dad? like, what? Uh, my stepdad. Uh, and uh, Paul. And he said, he said, what? And then he hit a car. So I was like, fuck, dude, that's your fault. You're right. I literally He's tried like, to help you. you. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I was trying to tell you about the cool ass plane. Doesn't mean take your eyes off the road. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Test. <laughs> Test. <laughs> you were a distracted so, driver. Yeah. So um, we every, every, I mean, everybody was civil at that point, but it was just like, what more can happen? Yeah. Well, more did happen. Here, here, here's, here's where the real shit comes in. Mm. My brother was arrested and sent to jail. For? <laughs> At Taco Bell? He was Taco Bell, huh? He <laughs> So, <laughs> let, let, let me give you a backstory. So, oh, no, I know that guy. He's horrible. Mm. Right? I, that I, brother or the other brother? My little brother. Yeah, Paul. The horrible one. Paul, yeah. 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 Paul. The one that everybody loves so much. Yeah, I know. Oh, the, all of, all the chicks that I fuck want to fuck him for no, some reason. No, but I mean, like all of us, like really like that guy. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. He's a dick. <laughs> Go ahead. He can be, yeah. Um, so the reason we moved into this little shitty small apartment was because we were all of us were going to pay rent and we're just going to stay here so, until A, B, and C happens. B being that my mom and dad were going to move into this uh, fifty-five and plus complex. You know, you had to be a certain age to move. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Um, and <laughs> just found out more bad news. Yeah, right? <laughs> 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 I, 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 I love, 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 I love,
Oh my god! <laughs> I loved how cavalier my mom was when she told me my dad got in a car accident. She just texted me, "Your dad got hit by a car." That was it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're like, isn't he on a motorcycle? Dot dot dot. Yeah. Ouch. Yeah. yeah. By the way, the motorcycle's fine. So, why did your brother get arrested? <laughs> How the fuck does that happen? Motorcycle's fine, but dude, my dad got destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> exactly right. Um, so yeah, we were all moving in this little shitty apartment, and it was only going to be like he got hit by a car. Yeah, that's a, that's a legit. Oh. Bike. Was it a, a Harley? That's a Harley, right? <laughs> yes. Fucking the see, there you go, dude. Buy Harleys, bro, American. So, uh, you know, like rent would have been three fifty if all of us had done that, mm-hmm. and then of course I pitched in. And then, of course, the that the, the day we all moved in, he moves in with his girlfriend. And I'm like, are you going to pay – you said you're going to pay rent. Your name's on this fucking lease. Yeah. He's like, why should I pay that? I have a place I have a place to live now. I don't need that. What a dick. And I was like, motherfucker. Because now I basically have to pay half the rent on a – half the rent on an apartment I did not want. I only did it because I was trying to take care of my family. And then, of course, my mom, she goes, oh, we it's too late to sign up for that 55 and plus senior center. So we're going to have to just chill in the, be in the apartment. I'm like, motherfucker. And I had friends waiting to move in. I'm pissed off. I'm not talking to him at all. You fast forward to, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> to the hell is that? Yeah, I'm just looking at him. <laughs> That's a big ass small violin. Yeah. <laughs> That's a bass violin. Fucking <laughs> cello and shit. <laughs> playing just for me. Not playing that cello. So, uh, <laughs> so I kind of like I'm like I fucking hope something bad happens. To you watch something's gonna bad happen. It's gonna bad's gonna happen. You motherfucker. So you got arrested for yes. Uh, all of a sudden, he's staying with us. He's sleeping on the couch. I'm like, why is he here? He fucked us. Yeah. Why the fuck is he here? He's money. He and his girlfriend got into a fight. Okay, well, good. What happened? I knew that was going to fuck. I knew it was going to happen. He's like, did he win? <laughs> <laughs> the story we were told, and I, I believe this, was that um, their dog, which is like a big husky, ate his dinner, and he smacked the dog. There you go. Yeah. That set her and her and her daughter off, and they... Like double teamed him and he came over and oh, dog. He, had to, he had to hit the dog pretty hard yeah, he had for, to them, fuck that dog for up. them to react in their way. Like, yeah. It doesn't make sense that he just tapped like he him. Kicked it. I don't I don't, I don't I don't I don't I don't I don't know the specifically on on the dog. He did, he did. But when he came over he we legit had all these scratch marks on his back your and he, he had black eye. <laughs> so I'm just, I'm still not How old's the daughter? In her teens. Oh, okay, nice. So you got his ass kicked. Yeah. So like I'm still not talking to him, but I'm like, God and he's all like, I'm gonna go to jail. And I'm like, what? <laughs> I go, I go, why? What the fuck's going on? And my mom goes, oh, she's saying he attacked her and her daughter and beat them both. Damn. They got marks. Ooh. He's going to jail. Too. Oh, yeah, they fucked. had no. Apparently, there was no marks on them, but he was all fucked up. They're also white, right? No, they're Hispanic. Oh shit, they won, dude. Get <laughs> it. Finish him. Finish him. <laughs> so, and then just whatever, my 15 hour shi- uh, shift happens. Uh, I go to sleep. I am woken up by my mom screaming, "Motherfucker!" And I'm like, "What?" Whoa, that's a big I deal. Open the, I open the door, and my mom goes, "A cop was just here. He just took your brother away." And I'm like, "What do you mean? Yo, how did I not notice? <laughs> <laughs> I live in a small apartment. I didn't hear any of this." Yeah. <laughs> Bye, they were just straight up. Um, no, you're under arrest. And I go, "How is that legal?" I asked my I asked, uh, <laughs> I asked under pressure, S- Sergeant Sanders. Say, how is that legal? And he, his response was, OJ fucked up for everybody. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, so he spent six days uh, in j- legit jail. Seven nights? Uh, I think so. <laughs> and he six was – and, and They got him at night. Man. And this was just her being a vengeful <laughs> bitch. And you're, you're, here's how here's oh, all your, your mom? No, his girlfriend. Oh, I think you said your mom. Like, why did no. you just say that right now? He no. smacked the dog hard. He deserves any he little He probably bit. kicked that no. dog. He deserves every ass no. whooping he got. No, 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 no. I, I actually believe that, uh, your that she... You believe him. Listen. Yeah, why should we listen? Listen. listen. Sorry. Sorry. He, <laughs> and I, he and I are dog lovers. Now, we have smacked dogs, but we know... Like dog lovers or dog lovers? <laughs> You know it. But uh, he got arrested for smacking a bitch. Listen! God. Get it? Smacking a bitch. There you go. I got it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you did it. But also, <laughs> my our dad beat beat our mom. So I know like he deserves, same day? deserves a broken no. back. Yeah, he, well, yeah. My, my, my dad is like one of the hardest guys to like. He, even even when you're you're when I'm a son, I'm so forgiving. But like, um, no, 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 no. My dad used to beat my mom when he was on drugs when we were kids. 
Mm-hmm. So that's normal. Though. We know it's, pretty normal. it's it's in <laughs> me and my brother's DNA to not put hands on a woman. I mean, if they hit, actually, us, the opposite. Yeah, like, it's actually if, in your if, DNA. Yeah, no, that's, that's <laughs> yeah. directly input in your DNA. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, we learned a lesson. Well, yeah. Yeah. In, well, in an anagram yeah. for yeah. Yeah. You, you, you fight that feeling every time that it comes up. There you <laughs> go. There you go. Your dad and 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 um, <laughs> my grandfather, you, my great- grandfather, you Clea, <laughs> and great great grandpa, you Clea, sure all beat the shit out of their wives. Yeah, I know this. I'm pretty sure you Clea translates to bitch. Say that again. Don't let me tell you twice. Um, but yeah, so like, it's just, he and I, unless the woman is like, come on, motherfucker, let's go, like, yeah, then I'll put oh, hands. do you have rules? Yeah. yeah I, mean, I have rules too. I know how to, I know, I know how to fight, so I know how to actually, you Restrain know. Restrain somebody. Exactly. Yeah. That's, that's what I do. And I know he wouldn't do that either, because we just, we saw my dad literally like. Yeah, there's two women though. I hear, teen, I, I, I hear what you're saying. Yeah, we would just would not do that. So I, I believe him 100%, and I felt really bad because I'm over here like wishing you know, the, the worst on him. Yeah, you're and like, you're he, like you, you deserve to go to jail just not for this. No, 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 no. I wanted him to like dump his girlfriend and have to come back and be like, I fucking told you you're going to be back, bitch. But I didn't want him to do that <laughs> and then go to jail. My mom ca- was, was, was talking to him and he, she was telling me, he cries every time I call. Cause he's you call? Freaky. No, him, you? her. Oh, she Richard her. Yeah. spent five days in jail and was a shot caller. Your brother spent five days in jail and got fucked in the ass. Right, <laughs> Probably. Night. He was just freaking What's out. Different? That's and, difference. And it just. Shot caller, but a messenger. They say he was the messenger. You're the middle it man. Really, middle man. It felt really, I felt really bad because I was wanting that something bad to happen to him, but I didn't want that kind of bad, you yeah, know? You use your psychic powers. Yeah, you I know. Spent five days in jail. Remember, bro. I'm psychic. Remember, I'm psychic. Everybody is psychic. Nice. Yeah. Even five though days. this guy doesn't, like. <laughs> Use it. I mean, he was taken in hand. Good people in there. He was taken in handcuffs. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's assault. And taken all the way to Rancho. But the we system went, is extremely sexist. Well, where, yeah. where did where did they live at the time? Like, well, this was yeah, the, in Ukaipa. Weird. They took yeah. him to Rancho. Yeah, I don't know why, but just like, and then my mom was getting all these really fucked up texts from her. Oh shit! Yeah, Keep that shit. Exactly. You raised a boy who beats women. No, no. See, that's and the thing. Boom goes I, to dynamite. I saw all the texts. She never said that. She just kept calling him a loser. That's why I knew she was fucking lying. Because she would have said, like, you know, if, if he'd actually hit her, he, she, would say, she would say something like that. But she didn't. She was being a vengeful bitch. How did, here's my thing. The cops Ooh. need to corroborate a story, so they need to see bruises or something. Again, no, that's why I asked Sanders. Yeah, but then again, two against one. And that's why I asked Sanders. And one's a minor. And he said, Surprise, he, and he said motherfucker. It wasn't that he was under arrest and charged. He was under arrest and held until yeah, for court. Suspicion. Yeah. yeah. So, in, so in case he, you know, he ran. No, no, no. We've got you now. And it just, I felt really bad. And we, and then to top it all off, here, here's where the the bad news ends. But at the same time, it's kind of good. We went to a bail bondsman and bailed him out, and that just felt so awkward and weird. And I, I, I was they my, recognize you when you walk oh, in. Oh, so <laughs> much, so much money I had to yeah. pay too. And my anxiety was just like, oh, fuck that. I was just bail set too. Uh, Assault, probably like twenty five hundred. Uh, oh, that's good. So twenty five thousand. Like yes, twenty five thousand. Yes, twenty five thousand. You had to pay ten percent. Yeah, so yeah, it's uh, almost like five grand. grand, though, dude. Like for assault, normally. No, normally it's about ten grand. Um, it's a mini. To t- it's a mini if it's ten grand to fifteen grand, but normally it's about twenty five thousand. That's the lowest. Yeah, it's not San Bernardino County. Like all of them are set low, dude, because they're trying to just get. Yeah, twenty five thousand is like the lowest. But it's like twenty five hundred. Something that I thought he I'd, paid twenty five hundred in bail bonds fees. You have to pay ten yeah. percent. Oh, yeah. So that 10% no, no, of that. they don't make bail yeah. twenty five hundred because you only have to pay twenty five hundred. Yeah. No, 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 it's twenty five thousand. That's yeah. a minimum. Yes. Yeah. So we had to pay. Um, yeah. Up front. I think we paid. Uh, a th- a th- oh no, no, we paid five hundred up front. Yeah. And then they were telling us all these rules on what's going to happen. He's, like, He's got to be here tomorrow. He, yep. has to, he has to come in. And this is like, I never fucking thought I'd ever have to go to a bail bondsman. Like, I've never been one of those people. Zero, I figured I'd be in jail. So <laughs> it, took, it took you guys five days to get him out? And, no, 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 and no, no, no. went to the lot? We, oh, it was the next day. We were, um, he had to be arraigned, and he got arrested on a Friday, so he had to wait till Tuesday oh, to shit. see the That's judge. Like oh, Monday. shit. Yeah. And he did on Tuesday. And then the, well, as soon as as soon as my mom found out what his bail, bail yeah, was, his bail was she was calling all these bail bonds places trying to find one that will uh, go for the cheapest, you know. Yeah. And they they had to see my pay stubs because I I have to I co sign. Yeah, you signed on it too. Yeah. So if for some reason my brother fucks me, I'm really fucked, and I'm gonna kill that motherfucker. No. He'll fuck you. 
Nah, I promise uh, you that. You guys are being codependent. All that shit you guys used to, all that advice you used to give me, you need to apply to yourself mm -hmm. and your brother mm -hmm. because they're going to drag you down. I like, understand that. I, I, I totally understand what you mean, and I do agree. But I just, I just can't leave my family with a pile of shit. You know? You're not. He's an American same, jail, bro. You sure can, thing. dude. You're an adult. I said yeah, the same true shit. problem. Because how old is he now? 34. Oh, shit. I was going to say like 26, Dude, my brother went to jail and he could <clears throat> sit in fucking jail. I don't give a shit. I wouldn't go sign You'd pick up the phone like, why are you calling me? Yeah, what the <laughs> fuck are you calling me for? <laughs> you you, you totally missed out, mom. Yeah, he went to jail for DU, yeah, DUI and then he went to jail yeah, for another thing. Though. You get out on that shit. Yeah, you get on that shit, but there was one he he went for for impersonating an officer. I'm like, dude, don't call me. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> don't call my ass. <laughs> look, look, at, look at it from uh, my mine and my mother's point of view. <laughs> <laughs> uh, lying about about be uh, about beating a woman, you know, that's that's something that you know we take personal. Well, hey, she's taking that shit to court, so obviously she's in a. She is, in a, and uh, we've already we, we have lawyer friends. They've already given us lawyer advice and everything. And um, the second that he saw me, he was like, "So just thank you, thank you, thank you, <laughs> brother." Yeah, you we, know, start sucking we, dick. We, Suck we, it. <laughs> 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 you know what you can do while you're on your knees, and it ain't praying. <laughs> But uh, he immediately already got a job <laughs> again. A little small, oh, that's the other thing. Make it wet. They right. fired him <laughs> because of her. Yeah. Where did he work at? Uh, Ace Hardware. Oh, wow. And, and job do, opening. do you think they would just fucking keep him? Like, yeah, whatever, dude. Mm. Show up whenever you She works there, too. Oh, that's why. Yeah. And mm -hmm. we, our, uh, a friend of ours that's a lawyer said, you know, for $25, you can set an injunction on her for defamation of character and for wrongful termination. Because well, yeah, like, what you could do yes. is get a friend to go in there and play stupid and go pretend to buy some shit, get some help from her, and then bring up the conversation of an abusive spouse and get her take on it while she's recording the audio. That's not bad. But he doesn't have that many friends because you got to think of it. Yeah, but 25 if he bucks, brought up me or Richard bucks. and it's like, hey, do you think Paul could have done this? Yeah, I can see it. <laughs> I can totally see it. What about Rich? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I just yeah. wouldn't say anything. I think Paul can do it. Paul, like, he would say the guy. same thing. Paul's a dick. But he would. He definitely. We definitely see him doing that. Yeah, I could. Yeah, That's what I'm saying he's been a dick for so many for years. so fucking long and fucked you over so many fucking yeah. years that yeah, I could totally see him doing that. Yeah. That's what I'm saying he's not out of character. <laughs> that guy wasn't a fucking church goer going to church every fucking Sunday. Yeah, I could totally see him doing but that. But remember, <laughs> we, we, don't, we 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 do not take kindly to hitting women. Yeah, but what if he think? did? What if he did? I don't believe he did. Yo, yeah, you guys don't take kindly to him because he wants out. <laughs> yeah, just there, there's like a good brother, evil brother. You have yeah, to decide exactly which one you are. Yeah. I'm the good brother. Not even – you could be neutral and still know that he could do that. Because I'm forgiving. Well, well you, you could be $2,500 in debt, yeah. son. Eventually – yeah. He, he has nowhere to he has nowhere to he go. So if he would have bounty hunter after his brother, I asked him. I said, "Do you guys have bounty hunters?" He's like, "Yeah, you fucking sure do." Mike was yeah, a bounty dude, hunter. Every Mike, one of them Mike's a motherfucking bounty hunter. Yeah, all you have to do is take a PC class, dude. It's crazy. Exactly, yeah. you can get a badge. Mike's like, they gave me a badge and a certification for two hundred bucks. I'm like, you paid to be a bounty hunter? He's like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, the um, yeah. more uh, booze and dudes when we come back. We'll go to commercial break. <laughs> Eddie's Caregiving Service, located in San Bernardino, for a small fee, Eddie will be there to take care of your loved one. Hi, oh hey, I'm going to take care of you, I'll take care of you for a good two, three or four hours, I'll make your meals, I'll do your dishes, I'll walk your dogs. It's uh, it's pretty, it's pretty cheap. Ah, Eddie took care of me. My back was broken. My dick was broken. No one loved me. He was there. Twenty bucks. It was unbelievable. He did everything. Love the little fucker. When I dislocated my back, I just needed somebody to be there for me. Turns out, what I really needed was a friend, and Eddie was that in spades. I learned so much about comic books and Norse gods and some video game that I've never played before, but at the same time, the fucking day flew right by, man. It was great. Eddie will entertain you. So, I feel cheap. Just, you know, I work up like $3 a day and weed. 
my uh, my clients really just pay me weed. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I play video games all day. Eddie's Crew giving service. Caregiving service. Locating the San Bernardino. Pick him up. Uh, I'll afford him for you. So he can help your loved one. <laughs> Today, on the People's Court, we discuss... One man smacking a bitch and going to jail. And his defense? First off, her dog ate my chicken pot pie. It was a fresh chicken pot pie. But I didn't hit her. And if I did, it's only because she hit me first. And if she hit me first, it's because I told her that her blowjob skills sucked. Ladies and gentlemen of this supposed jury, my plaintiff here, Miss... Elizabeth Hernandez was hit several times and her dog was bitch slapped all over an enchilada. I make all this food all the time and then he tries to just yell at me. Fuck you, motherfucker. All we ask is a simple thousand dollars and an apology. Today on the Beatles Court. Fuck you and everybody in this room Look at my face You did this to my face That is makeup your honor Ladies and gentlemen the supposed jury These Irish fucks are an abusive family Mr. Yoclea here Has abused several animals in the past His granddaddy abused several llamas in the past and he had a pasture full of sheep, and he fucked him sexually. Sexual abuse on the people's court. Order in the courtroom. I like to. I like to be known. Those llamas were asking for it. They were wearing slutty outfits, and the the llamas were consensual. Do you hear the same thing he's saying? Do you hear what he's saying? Your Honor, please. Today on the people's court, I gotta hear everything. Need I say mas? Need I say mas? Mr. Wapner, Judge Wapner, it's a very simple shut and close case, okay? This motherfucker is abusive, okay? He has a history. Go ahead and ask one of his friends. Yeah, uh, listen, Paul, he's really cool and all when it comes to getting high, but when it comes to smacking women, he's like the number one guy. If you want a woman smacked, I go to him. I was like, listen, my wife's giving me shit. Paul, come over and smack her. And he did. For ten bucks. Whenever the drugs run low, man, I mean, I do just some crazy shit. I totally believe it. He hit who? A dog, too? Oh, yeah, I can totally see him kicking some shit. Nina, Nina, Paul, get out. Go high. We are... Uh... All I want to talk about oh, is beating women. And uh, we we get high a lot. Watch ne- next generation. Well, my boy, my boy Paul. Yeah, of course he abuses women. It's the Euclid way. Today in the People's Court, we have men defending the undefendable. Will they succeed? Stay tuned on UPN. <laughs> it's pretty much done. Oh really? You said like I'm, you even said like hey, there's more. I'm broke. Does that count? Man, yeah, add that to it. Wow, your life sucks. <laughs> We're back. <laughs> Booze and the dudes. Fuck. You had a shit month. My month was good. Yeah. Richard's well, month was good. Yeah, I got eight hundred and fifty dollars from some lady tapping me and leaving like a scratch mark on my car. Oh wow. Awesome. Whoa. Well, because like he got in a car accident, and I, was, I was gonna tell him that too, but like, damn, dude, I got money on mine. <laughs> <laughs> so much. He's all depressed. He's all. <laughs> that was my house payment, bro. 
Whoa. A <laughs> single tear goes down You're, my head. How did you get 850 bucks? You claimed it through your insurance? I claimed it through hers. Wow. She's the one who did it. You don't claim it through your insurance when you're the victim. Mm. And you were a victim. Yeah. Let it oh, be dude, it said here. All because she was paying attention to her cell phone. Like, we're Man. just waiting at, at Joe's Walmart. We were waiting at the light. Yeah. And she fucking just. 850 bucks. That's Eight. like. Did Dang. they total your car? No, but that's what. The, dude, and what's funny is I didn't even have to have anybody do it. Uh, progressive, they tell you to take pictures. And they do it oh, all over. Cool. Oh, I thought I was going to get like two, three hundred bucks sure. or something, maybe. Dude, the fucking report said like, oh, yeah, you're going to need a new fucking light. You're going to need a new bumper. All this you're stuff. like, I'm all, fuck it. <laughs> I'm all, yeah. yeah, yeah. She, she's, all, she's all, or you can go to one of our people and they'll fix it. And I'm like, nah, I'm good. No, and they're like, all right, check. They're all, we'll give you a check within three days if you do a direct deposit. Boom, $857. Boom. And you're still drinking my booze? <laughs> <laughs> That's my fucking house payment, bro. <laughs> what? <laughs> this motherfucker brings <laughs> over some dr- Canadian Dude. dry? And he's <laughs> drinking my booze? Hey, and I he brought, just got $850 I brought some fucking Guatemalan beer, dude. Damn. And he brought a non-American beer to your garage. And look at the shirt you're wearing. Hey, 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 hey. Look at the Just shirt you're wearing. Shirt I've been, I've been buying Guatemalan mind, stuff I don't because I know you that. like it. I don't because, mind Because uh, we're sending our, our uh, illegals to Guatemala now. I don't mind All that. of them. Yeah, we it's are the are best, dude. I don't mind that. I, I talked to my neighbor about that because he's Guatemalan. He's like, ah, yeah. oh, he's all, yeah, my family's been saying there's a lot of them showing it's up now. It's fucked up. You see what they've been doing to the cooks Fuck out there? Dude. To the cooks? Yeah, there's the, 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 out in Guatemala, they have the, the, the cooks are trying to keep up and they can't. Because all these, uh, the influx of... What the fuck are they fucking feeding them for? They're like a bunch of uh, Nigerian motherfuckers coming over. Honduran, like a bunch of everybody. he's like, and this is a a fucking uh, Guatemalan cook. He was like, I don't know what they're... He was like cooking corn. I don't know how he does it. It was like corn. He cooked like split it up. Yeah, they eat mostly produce. It's like natural Guatemalan food. They have like their shit. Fruit and veggies. And he's like, these African dudes come in. And they start yelling at me and demanding me to make their food. Fuck. He's like, I don't know what the fuck they want. It's a different language. Different dialect. I can't. Oh, we understand don't do chitlins here. Yeah, it's fucking nuts. And they're screaming like they they have footage of him recording people screaming at him. Just a bunch of black people. What the? But they're all fuck from Africa who's... and sub-Saharan Africa. So he was like, my question is, how do they get here with new clothes, backpack, shoes, and how do they have money for food? And how, who sent them to my place? He's like, there was 300 of them, and I couldn't feed them. The good old so U.S. So all the other stands a, were, like, banding together. and like These colors don't oh, run. Dude, yeah, yeah. But we send those motherfuckers, right? <laughs> like, get the fuck Everyone out. calls America racist until it happens to Tijuana. Then Tijuana had a slogan called Make Tijuana Great Again. And it kept going south of the border. Now well, we, no, no. Uh, now are we're going to update it? Guatemala. Because his new slogans keep America great. Oh, yeah. yeah just CAG. <sighs> Nuts. So, no Christmas. so Christmas. No, no, no. no we no, we already that, did bro. Christmas yesterday. Yeah. Christmas, no, no. I was, Christmas is going to be backdated. No, no, no. I was, I was, I was, I was, I was, I was, I was hey, using, trying to tell you this horrible story. Continue. No, I was just saying, you know, like, I'm having a Christmas movie marathon every night. I'm watching a Christmas movie. Why? Because, <laughs> dude, his life is fucking horrible right now. He's trying yeah. to watch people get yeah. presents yeah. and be happy. Right. Last, night I I watched, last night I watched Love Actually. <laughs> oh, man, you're gay. I love Love Actually. What's wrong with you? Gay. <laughs> but, uh, I'm not gay. That's what's wrong with me, I guess. I like it. Yeah, it's good. I'm not okay. gay. But is if it... I was, I would want equal <laughs> rights. You, you, know what, you know what movie is also <laughs> that, gay, man. but also good? Wait, also, you think Love Actually is good? No. Exactly. So No. I'm going to throw this out there. Have you guys ever seen Garden State? Oh, they have. oh yeah. Awesome. Half of that movie is good. The other half is completely feels forced. Which part? It feels yeah. like a vanity project. I love that project. movie. It feels like a movie. vanity oh. project. It no, no, no. His, like his second one's horrible. Yeah. The one where it's him and his kids. It, it, that it one's feels really like bad. Zach Braff. The one where it's him and his kids? Whole, yeah. The one where, where it's got the, the girl Joey King? The little yeah, that one's Jew nerd from Scrubs. Okay, I thought Speaking you meant the other movies. one. Are you yeah. guys still a podcast? Beer and Bad Movies? He, yeah. We did three episodes. He just hasn't sent them to me to edit. Whoa. The thing is, I was trying to edit them, but he's right. I'll send them to him to edit. I bought this new cool program to edit shit. And so it's like, anyways, I got caught up with that, but I enjoy editing. Yeah, dude, Joe, do that yeah, in the baby, movie, movie marathon. Are, are we still doing? Why don't you do that? Are we still doing the Richard roast? I, yeah. I thought we are. Are we? Right. What day? Yeah. What day? It's supposed to be this month, isn't it? It's supposed to be this month. Yeah. yeah. What day? Whatever day so on he is his birthday. Available. On his birthday, he yeah. works probably. What's I work on. Is it Thursday? Is I, I haven't. Right? I haven't set for the. What day is your birthday? Nineteenth. Uh, that yeah, would it's be a Thursday. Thursday. Yeah, it's a Thursday. Yeah, well, what, well, what that's we, my Monday over there. What's the Rich Roach? Yeah, he does work. For when, when is your day off? He works. He said Tuesday. Wednesday. Tuesday night. <sighs> Isn't that Christmas? No, no, that's Thursday. No. Let's do it on his, on, his, on his day off. 
Yeah, Tuesday. The twenty third. Tuesday. It'll be the twenty third. Want to do the twenty third? Want to do it the Tuesday before his birthday, like two days before? Yeah, it's, on <laughs> it's on Hanukkah. It's on Hanukkah. Oh my God! You know what's oh, funny? What the hell Jewish phone do you have, dude? So they ask us, hey, does it-, <laughs> it tells it, dude. My phone doesn't tell me that shit. It just says Christmas, like only American holidays. Oh, yeah. no. They go, they go. Anybody have any suggestions for the party? They get, they bring the different departments together, and I'm like, uh, well. I'm Jewish, and uh, <laughs> I go, instead of one Christmas party, I'd appreciate it if we could do eight nights of partying to celebrate my... And then one guy's like, well, what if I celebrate Kwanzaa? I'm like, you you're know. All, you're all, add that, too. You're all, you're all, it's a separate add night. Add that as an extra yeah. day. And so, so they're like, well, we have to respect everybody, so we're having one Christmas oh, dude, party. It would have been, been great. And it's a holiday party. It's for everyone. It would have been well, great if you would have said it that. It was my Jewish tradition. No, like, when, I it on when that guy said Kwanzaa, would be like, did we just celebrate Black Friday? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'll score him points. Yeah. <laughs> he wasn't even black. Well, no, 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 like no, in, in, his, in his department, like, they don't care, dude. Oh, he serves all the departments. No. He's in maintenance. Yeah, it was maintenance departments. Like, so those facilities. There's so no those other department celebrates your birthday. Right? I, I, thought all those, I thought everybody crowded in, like, all employees. No. Yeah, no, that black like guy over there, people. let's add him. No. Like probably 15 and, for people my de- and for my department, my shift, it's like five people. Have you guys ever and, met and anybody that celebrate legit. Kwanzaa? Yeah. Really? Yeah, middle what school. What is Kwanzaa? It's an African holiday from Central. Yeah, you son of a bitch, you racist. You know what? from fucking Ireland What does the Chinese celebrate? New Year's. Chanza? Uh, what's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? Dog eating day? Whoa! Oh. 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 They do guys, dog guys, eating day. Guys, we get downloads in China. Okay? They do dog oh, eating we day, love bro. China. They know. They know what's up. Hong Kong's all over China. Christmas. They asshole. <laughs> yeah. Hong oh, China, no good. <laughs> you ever see that shit? <laughs> you American, so big penis. <laughs> <laughs> You uh, organ donor, <laughs> give me your pee pee. <laughs> oh, you American, so big, so big. I was telling them about the time that I went to uh, Amoeba and I saw that band Shy. Yeah. And the, one of the, 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 the least. <laughs> His reaction, sure. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Where about Tell me more. <laughs> the lead singer of the band Shy, she goes, you know, I Yukio and she Michio. We a twin, same face. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah, thank you. And then she goes, she names the other two members of the band. Go, they're not the twins, not the same face. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just like, bitch, I know what a fucking twin is. I thought it was a whole racist thing. I was like, <laughs> I thought the Chinese was being <laughs> yeah, racist. That's like, what I thought. we all have the same face. <laughs> yeah, no, she just has horrible English. <laughs> she, a lot of Chinese people look the same. I got bush out the English. Love Chinese people. Love them. Really. They all look the same. <laughs> yeah, I do. That's, I a, that's like a great people. disclaimer. I, lo- I love black people. Have you people. ever had a fight with I a Chinese love, person? I love, love, love black people. So no, but I the see same. them fight all the time at the Really? Yeah, dude, yeah, yeah, Chinese yeah. people are fucking horrible. Dude, actually, just yesterday. The worse are Hong Kong they, people. Or, yeah. or not Hong Kong. Um, he beat the Koreans. Shit out of Koreans, he, Koreans are Koreans, fucking horrible. It was a Korean man. He beat the shit out of his wife yeah, yesterday. Yeah, people. Oh, he was arrested. Yeah, so you're right. He was arrested. He busted her eye. The Chinese are just By the time I got there, her eye was cut. Her eye was swollen. The they nice ones are the nice up. ones are Vietnamese. Um, For the Japanese are pretty cool. Filipino. So all right. So remember, they can kind of be weird, but they don't really go to a casino. Most Filipinos are fucking are, are like uh, kind of poor. They don't really poor. do shit. Yeah. So remember how and I said they, they work at the casino. They yeah, I'm like, yeah, yeah, if anything, they work there. Yeah, they work remember there. how I said that? Um, <laughs> uh, I, I thought they, that their, they clean up the album of their co- of their be- of their uh, the cover of their album looked like a get it out, Juju. It looked like a fart porn poster. You remember I tell you it looked like a fart porn poster? Okay. So this is the this is this is what I, this is what I thought. It, that doesn't look like it at all, though. To me, it does. It looks like fart porn. <laughs> doesn't it look like they're smelling farts and smiling. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Um, it looks like they're all. If about, you guys like, really want to know what we're looking finger at, finger in the you know. vagina is what it looks like more than anything. Nah. See, they the same face. <laughs> same oh, face. Oh, they got that same face. Yeah, moon face. <laughs> Fucking <like a> Chinese people. <laughs> yeah, no, they're Japanese. Racist. You guys uh, got it. We're yeah, all we're all right, going to hell. All right. Well, I guess you guys are. I'm not. Fuck? Why are you, you going to hell? For being right? <laughs> <laughs> we're honest. We are honest. <laughs> Our honesty. Honesty is the best policy, guys. It maybe, is. maybe in your Irish fucking hell or something. But um, <laughs> that's where all the booze and cocaine and strippers are, bruh. Mm-hmm. So I do Ireland. want to plan for sure. In Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't... <laughs> Millions flock to Ireland <laughs> every day <laughs> for cocaine and bitches. Do you remember um, Dylan Moran, the Irish comedian that we like? Oh, I oh, love yeah. that dude. Yeah, I, I pulled one of his lines. Some 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 guy came up to me at work and goes like, "Are you Irish?" 
I go, yeah. And he's all, that's not his life. <laughs> no, I'm getting to it. Yeah, he, 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 yes, he's all, my, my grandmother was from Ireland, Kelly O'Flannery. Did you know her? And I pulled his eye. Yeah. I go, I go, yes. But then again, all the guys knew her. <laughs> <laughs> that, dude's, that dude's really fucking funny though. Yeah. <laughs> My grandmother's a whore. Yeah. So the booze and the dudes road trip, I would like to plan this. Okay? That's I wanted to send thing. you a link. There's a guy selling a Winnebago. What? The engine doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a seven hundred dollar Winnebago. It's a Winnebago. Winnebago. Listen, but it's seven hundred bucks. Me and SG here made a booze and the dudes cruise commercial, but realistically, we do want to plan a road trip. And I'm thinking we should do a road trip to Colorado to, to see Casa Bonita. Who? Go to Casa Bonita. Is that a real oh. thing? Yeah. It's a real thing. Casa Bonita on South Park is Casa Bonita and then come back. But, I mean, a whole trip. And what we're going to do what we're gonna do is do different stops and just do a podcast right outside the RV in different <laughs> RV parks. Oh, give me a home or the buff. <laughs> so what do you think? I'm down. You're down? I don't even know what Casa yeah. whatever it is, but that sounds cool. Casa Bonita is like a Chuck E. Cheese, but... It's like in Denver. So what if there's going a, what? to a kid's place with Joe? They're not going to let us fucking in. Ain't a Winnebago. Yeah. Hey, it's we're just here to hang out with kids. It's on South Park. It's on South Park. Wow. That's cool. Do you know how hard it is for me to get a table for one at Chuck E. Cheese looking like this? Hey, you got a table for four now. Fuck. <laughs> oh, Joe's going to stay away from the school like 300 <laughs> Yeah, you're trying to take him to a fucking Chuck E. Cheese? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I can just see it now. You guys all go in first. and like, hey, table for four, please. And they're like, sure. And then I walk in behind them. Are we good, guys? Out. We don't know, we don't know that guy. <laughs> yeah, we, if you come uh-uh. in to a Chuck E. Cheese with us, you better be like, hey, do you guys have my camera? I'm like, yeah. Right here. <laughs> what, Here's your high definition. <laughs> what's I, I need a table closest to the play area. Yeah. <laughs> what's the status on your movie? <laughs> uh, we have... Three scenes still to film. Wait, which movie is this? Dead Inside. The one with the, with the dude with the face paint? Yes. Okay. The dude who got coal cocked. <laughs> oh, he did? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. Knock the fuck out. Yeah. yeah. Nice. You deserve it. <laughs> <laughs> why do I like the job? <laughs> he um, why, why am I so <laughs> into it? Because <laughs> maybe he deserved it, bro. That's all I'm asking. That's what it sounds uh, like, we, actually. We, 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 it. <laughs> we, we, it. We, have, we were supposed to film tomorrow. I'm so pissed off. We we're supposed to film tomorrow, but then I saw the weather report and said it was going to rain. That could be good for hell thing, right? Yeah, but I can't. I can't realistically have all all of these people uh, out in the rain for like three or four hours. Sure, but you could do like a sad scene where like he's crying and all. Especially of a with all that cheap makeup. Yep. <laughs> anyway, so like. <laughs> <laughs> So I we, mean, had to, legit we, we had to cancel, makeup. but three scenes, and then we have two. Uh, we got to do two uh, covered shots, and then we're done. <sighs> and I'm trying to move as fast as I can, but you know I got to work with everybody's schedule, and it is such a bitch. It's a horror movie, right? No, it's a drama, really. Okay, so no sex scenes. No. You I remember see you're doing sex scenes, bro? Yeah, Could he has. No, that was Brian's movie, the one where he had yeah. the, uh, Joe's buddy in the blue in the blue hair. Yeah, Beth having sex with the uh, with the uh, Studman. Yeah, and Michael was oh, so happy about that. Studman. Yeah, he was cool with it, dude. He was cool too. You got, got a hot chick with her. The tits only thing out that was there. fucking awkward was like everybody was being weird. So you I remember that chick with filming. blue hair? That's that what we're just topless. talking about right now. We literally were just talking about that. Really? What? Man, I'm the fuck up. <laughs> sorry, guys. I'm so yeah. sorry. <laughs> he even said her name. You there? T- yes, I'm the one who filmed it because nobody else wanted to. I remember taking a picture of my cell phone of her tits. I remember you getting, uh, you were supposed to get head from some fucking fat white chick that day. <laughs> Out back. She was all like, oh my God, just stop talking. You're cute. And you were like, okay. Was she, was she tall? Oh my yeah. God. Oh yeah, she was like taller than Chuck, dude. She looked like Chuck with long hair. Oh my God. <laughs> I think I know who it is. Dude, it's head, dude. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> that's, like, that's like that. Uh, that's like, you're a chick. That's all that matters to me. <laughs> Rules don't apply when you get head. Right, yeah, you, no. you, you hear that, the, the standards fuck? go right out of the fucking room. Yeah, plus man. you had a girl at the time. Like it's like, yeah, dude. Like we're not married. We're golden. Let's yeah, do this. Right. Did you Did you ever hear that? <laughs> no, um, so that, that dick. <laughs> I did get blown. Yeah. I did get blown, and I was like, uh, well, she's like, oh, are you gonna take care of me later? Fuck me there. I'm like, mm, yeah, sure, yeah. <laughs> yeah. whatever. Later, <laughs> not today. Yeah. <laughs> did you ever hear that Ron White joke about blowjobs? Which one? He he had yeah, the one where like he when he was in Hawaii, uh, he goes to this bar, and yeah, there's this uh, trans chick yeah, going like season blow, at the bar. Yeah, well she she goes around and goes blowjobs in the parking lot for five dollars, mm. 
And then, and then the, one when of his dumber, Ron, yeah. one of his dumber friends comes up to him and goes, "Guys, blowjobs in the park lot for five dollars." And they go, "You dumbass, that was a guy." And he goes, "Yeah, but five dollars." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been offered, and I'm, I still said no. And this oh, dude was trying oh. to fucking blow me for free, and I was like, "Oh, nah, I could tell you about the new." Th- oh, there's two new things in my life. I, <laughs> I, <love that>. <laughs> <laughs> I bring up a story about a gay guy trying to I blow me, and me saying no, and he's like, "Ooh, let me tell you this awesome story." Dude, dude I edited I gay guys all, at work all the time wow. hitting on me. I edited it. really. It's very. Oh, it, dude, it, there's if so it was good. It's complimentary. Gays, but at the same time, gays are not even the majority at our work. Like, there's a lot of trannies at our work. Actually. Yeah, there are. Whoa, like I, for years too. Dude. Like before, it was cool. At Rock and Brew, there's like four so trannies trans, at work yeah. there. Just at Rock and Brew, Ooh. El Chingon's got two. El Chingon. But you know what? Okay, I'll tell. I'll tell you this. Maybe you guys don't give a shit. But the the two two of the ones, the big one looks like RuPaul. Uh, like, Miss Perez. Pro Trumper, you know how to put names. You got it. You got. I know her. That's not her fucking real name, dude. No, exactly. <laughs> She's a Thank black woman. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Anyway, Thank God. I don't want anyways, to be sued. Long story short, dude, she could fuck you up, dude. Long story short, Pro <laughs> Trumper. Bet. She's a Pro Trumper because she has gone and is going through the transition. Yep. I can't stand when people bring pretend, her up and, and pretend she's to be a like, "Well, I'm, I'm going to transition too." It's like, are yeah, you taking like, the, are you like, taking well, the hormones? Well, no, but I'm this. That's the yeah. cheapest version of getting the transition before you make a transition, and you're just claiming that like, you're going to be a woman. This chick's legit, dude. Like, she goes to fucking West Hollywood. Like, yeah, that's exactly. like she saves money just to go to West Hollywood. Check this out. Check this out. It's really fucked up when people I, try to pose. Yeah. I, yeah. I I edited a trans porn. What kind of trans oh, porn are we talking about? Is it like where it's like Tell a trans me. male or like a trans female it was fucking a, it was a, a regular it was a, female? It was, he, she he started out as a he, and so you, now gotta, you gotta say it right. Yes, and, she, she, and now she's she, a she. She was a he, and now she is doing porn. Yeah, there and I so she now with a penis. No, 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 no. Was a he? Was a he? Now, now, it's now a she. it's a she. Still got a dick though, right? No. Oh shit! What she's a porn fledge? Yeah, she's full, full on trans, and she was trying to get me to fuck her. Wait, like, constantly. but you filmed the porn? No, I edited it. So who's she fucking or getting fucked by? Her a dude or like a trans a, a dude, dude? A dude, a dude, uh, uh, Sid's dude. Sid? Sid. Sis. 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 Whatever, yeah. Sis. <laughs> I'm all Sid? Guy's name Sid? Yeah, she's got Sid? Holy shit. Like, a guy yeah. named Sid sounds like he'd fuck a chick. This is so I was, wa- I was watching it, and then, like, uh, sh- she would text me, shit. and she was constantly well, Yeah, because like, you had to edit it. Like, get all crazy. She, <laughs> a- she actually didn't live too far from where I live. Hell like, yeah. she actually... Oh, wait. Oh, she lives, like, she's down the street from it, from her. Oh, shit. From her? That's from him. him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's <laughs> like, what? He's calling you that lesbian that you yeah. got yourself <laughs> from Chaz over here. <laughs> Fucking, she's tr- she was she was putting on a, a, a play party, you know, like Junior have, Bono. have people over to fuck, and she was trying to get me to go, and I was like, no thanks. You're like, I'll edit, but yeah. I mean, only for I'll, money. I'll fuck your dick. That was exactly, turned inside ex- out. Exactly, exactly. Well, <laughs> and then on top, of I like that, putting my penis in pockets. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> oh God! Okay. Whoa! Whoa! Sorry. And then, are, they, are, they, are, they like, are they like regular gay he's, guys? Hey, where like they have to lube up and shit? He's really pro. <laughs> no, no she, yeah, because that's what I heard. She squirted. I heard some. Yeah, I heard some of them were like legit. Like they can get wet and they can squirt. She, she did. Yeah, it's weird. I heard about that shit. It's just that's it's fucking disgusting. Modern day medical science, bro. It's called cum. And then it's called cum. And then on top of that, uh, I'm it's now piss. I, it's called urine. In well, it's urine <laughs> porn. I pissed on a house today. What? <laughs> <laughs> Why did that come out of the podcast? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you looking at him so intently? <laughs> <laughs> he's like, yeah, bro, there's a lot. He's like, I spelled my name and everything. Later on, someone <laughs> sues he's, like, he's like, not Chuck, Charles. <laughs> <laughs> Charles Serda. <laughs> they go to yeah. sue him and they bring up this podcast. Secrets. <laughs> he's like, I, I, didn't have, I didn't have enough to spell my whole last name, but I, I got the majority of it. Did you ever hear about Eddie Guerrero pissing in Elvis's house? Oh, yeah. Yes. Okay. I'll shut up. Right. Highly disrespectful to the king. <laughs> Highly. <laughs> here's, here's, here's I more, don't care. Here's more fun news. I got a second job in February. Hell yeah. Doing security at a sex club. Where at? No shit. Paris. Oh, nice. That's Paris, weird. France. Yeah, Paris, Paris. <laughs> no, Paris, Paris is California. California. <laughs> no. By the there? train station. That's that's shit hole there. There. That's oh, hang out. That's shit hole they're trying to trick you. No, see. It's a real Paris. See, that's what you're saying. No, dude, no joke. Paris has, like, come up now. Like, I was just out there for that sure class. Sure has. And, no, dude, there's, like, there's a city there now. They have, like, a mall. They have all kind of shit. The only thing Paris had to me was a freeway exit that made it quicker to get to fucking... Yeah, <laughs> they have one. Mark. Now they have three. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> no, you're talking about Van Buren. Van Buren's taking to Baltimore. Yeah. No, that's not that in was Paris the quickest yet. exit. They're like, do you want to exit here? I'm like, no, I'll get off in Paris. 
<laughs> yeah, there's no Across traffic. Across the track. Nobody has cars there. Dude, nobody. Nobody. No, it's, it's legit now. Broken That's what I said. Trucks. That's what I said. I went over there to go eat on uh, one of my lunch breaks during the class. I well, like, I, fuck? I asked Paris him, is nice now, kind I, of. I asked him, like, why the fuck are you going to have it out in Paris? He goes, well, because it's... No one cares, I'm saying? Ex- well, they, they want they want to buy... So this guy has an investor who works for a big pharma pharmacy company. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> so his investor is rich or something? Yeah, pharmacy people make yeah. bank, dude. Even the fucking and low-level ones. Yep. He, uh, so he says, well, we're going to buy we're gonna buy a house, but we're not just going to buy any house. We're going to buy... House. Yeah. We're going to buy a big house. He goes, mansion. He kept saying mansion. Me and Rich saw the one when we were running mm-hmm. by my house. That yep. there's, yeah. one. there's an active one. And we, is active, it, yeah, so we right need now. some place where we're gonna have to, we won't have to worry about the cops showing up. And we don't it's fully furnished at the bottom and there's yeah. nothing on top. Yeah, yeah, we, 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 don't wanna bother, we don't want to bother... The, we don't want neighbors being bothered, so we got to find some place that's kind of away from everybody. Just like that house. Yeah. So basically, all, so this is Eyes Wide Shut, and he's all, I didn't see that one. <laughs> so is that that gay one? You haven't seen Bad Boys he's all, too. Yeah, you haven't seen Bad Boys too. He remembers the gay one, Eyes Shut Wide. Eyes Shut Wide. Eyes Firmly Shut, it's all cum. But the guy, the, so the guy, he was a nice guy, but God, he would not shut up. Just remember, well, Yeah, he wanted you, bro. Gay guys are like... He's not, no, he's not gay, he's just... He's, He's just an uh, just a ch- a chatty cat. You said he was a gay dude. No, you said that. You did. No, I didn't. You said a gay dude that does this porn stuff and wants to have a sex thing. That's a diff- uh, d- different topic. Oh, no, that was trans. Yeah, the trans person. That's, that's different, different than gay. I said, I said, and by the way, I'm working at a sex club now. Oh shit! Nice. It starts in February. So a straight it, sex club. It's whatever sex club. Gay. Yeah. <laughs> I, I text Bri- I text Brian. Gay uh, men are bigger sluts than women. Period. Yeah. Hugely, mm-hmm. bro. Mm-hmm. When, when I about when it. I when I when Straight I was up. talking to the guy, uh, I texted Brian next. I said, "Hey, I think I just got a job at a sex club." And he goes, "You have to watch people fuck." And I go, I, my response was, "And smell it." <laughs> I thought you were going to be like, no, I'm outside, bro. Doing security. I'm, I'm not using a all sorts of my innocence. Yeah. I, love how, <laughs> I love how my answer was like rational. Like, no, dude, I'm outside. I'm not a creep. And he's just like, no, I'm going to be inside smelling it. Yeah. Then the guy he's, he's, all, bit he's, all, he's all just recording with my eyes. <laughs> so fuck. Yeah. And then the, so he's the, all butthole. The, the guy makes me add um, Telegram. It's it's like a chatting uh, app for your phone. Okay. I know. It's, I and I'm. It's, it's basically so me and all the people that are uh, technically employed can talk to each other or at least meet each other. And he wanted me to like in say, private. Yeah. yeah, he wanted me to say hi to everybody. And then I see he's looking for a midget. And oh, I, nice! I go, I go like, um, I got a guy. And he's Have on, you seen you the really? ones at the casino? Yeah, yeah, there's a bunch. He wants he wants he wants to find a midget to do the fantasy island thing. I made friends with that one that got drunk and he's like abusive, <laughs> drunk abusive midget. The <laughs> white guy? Yeah, he hits himself okay, in the yeah, forehead. Yeah. He yeah, he's in. been kicked out of bunch, and, yeah. he, and he fought one of our officers once. Kick, punched him in the dick. Oh, yeah, shit. legit, dude. Damn. Yeah, he which came was out, it? Kick or a punch? Came outside. Punched. Came outside and he punched himself in the head three times. And I go, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> and I, I, I go, you all right? No, no one's watching. I go, you all right? He, he, he goes, he goes, oh, fuck. I lost everything. But he's only this tall. He's, only, he's, he's like the biggest midget on the playground. He'll fuck up other midgets, you can tell. He's fucking big. Like, he's like Brock Lesnar of midgets. Oh, dude, one day I'm going to get a photo. I've been telling people. We got an action cam. Yeah, dude, it sucks, dude. We, we have I wish to, you could whip out our camera. Our we have the action cam, dude. The shit that happens and just blur out everything. The funniest shit happens there. I cannot oh, the believe time. the hilarity that happens. And horrible shit, too. There's but a, yeah, lot a lot of, of funny shit. stuff. There yeah. is a lot of horrible shit. But the funny shit in between makes up for makes it. Yeah, yeah, it makes a day go by quick. Yesterday I was there by that drug addict's car that got arrested for three hours. He that dude's car killed three hours of my work time. Just kicking ass. it with officers, talking about okay. shit. Okay, fuck it, I get it. Do you? God, do you dude, get a midget punching himself in the head so after losing like ten thousand yeah. bucks? Haven't you like never done? <laughs> do you understand that hilarity? <laughs> Haven't you never had fun with drugs? <laughs> So we do a little segment called This or That on this show now. I mean, SG started it yesterday. <laughs> but these these episodes are post-dated, so probably it's going to be in the future. Fuck. This or That. This looks like time travel. Man. And we're talking about what gender is more? <laughs> question mark. Okay. Which gender is more confident, men or women? Women. Men. 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 So we're going to go with Men. But women are in more places of uh, high places of work right now. Only now, though. That's not confidence. Right, right. It is confidence. Otherwise, they'd be getting paid equal, hey, bro. They do get, get out of here, no. bro. More, You're not more, real, man. More, more women are CEOs yeah. because, and this is my own experience too. Men have such low self confidence; it's so fucked up. There is not more women CEOs at our work. There is. 
I'm telling you, that's because they've been trying what, what, to what's that, what's that the saying? And it's diversity, too. Oh, black shit. Ones. I drank the right thing. Black <laughs> ones. You drink the right thing. <laughs> Wa- wash out. your mouth with that liquor. Yeah. <laughs> men or women, more nurturing. Personally, men. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting everything wrong. Yeah. Women. Yeah, women. You women. guys are going to go yeah, for the obvious. Women. Of course you would think. That's two to zero, fucker. In my own personal experience, my mom has not been nurturing. I've been like the mother and father of my family. Yeah, but there's no dad there either. More honest. Men. Ooh, oh, shit. Um, Don't get a dick. <laughs> women. Men. I'm going to say women. Yes! Uh, women, are more with, women are more creative. I'm in creative. the lead. 50, women are more creative 50, with their lives. See. Guys are more like, oh, yeah. no, is this a test? There's no or right or wrong, but yeah. we'll say what the percentage is. And we're going to say, uh, based on the 50 50, we're going to flip it and just say uh, women. Yeah, because your vote counts for more. Three three more zero. Independent. Zero. Definitely women. There's more women in the workplace right now. I can tell you by, this, by the. I'm going to say women. C, by the CEOs at San Manuel. There's too many. Men. I say men too because honestly, I can leave Michelle. Ra- it's, it's I late. can leave Michelle right now, and I I, I can be on by myself. But that's if she you. if she couldn't be able to survive by herself, but that's her. In my vote, I'm telling you. Well, who, 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 what was the right answer? No, uh, we not yet, find not out yet. Yet. We'll you find out. Through everything. Oh, okay. Uh, f- There's no right answer to whatever got voted. Higher. Oh, we, we're, he doesn't see the answer yet. We got to wait till the results. Okay. Faithful. Definitely women are more monogamous. Women. Yeah, women. <laughs> Anonymous is women. They're definitely more faithful. Yeah. Men are fucking dogs. Yeah, yeah, they are. <laughs> I said men are only as faithful as their options. Damn. Ooh. Assertive. Men. Better be. Men. 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 Maybe, maybe not the cucky California ones, but yeah, men. I doubt it, dude. We're getting horrible. It's fucking state. horrible out here. Laid back. Me. <laughs> He's all the epitome of man. <laughs> men. I'm all not you, but men, yeah, men. <laughs> men. Unanimous men. It has to be men because women always get the shit. They're, they're like, him. oh, don't go to your dad for shit because he's too laid back and he won't give you discipline, blah, yeah, blah, blah. We don't care. Outgoing. Gotta be uh, women. Women. Yeah, women. They do, really? they do more at shit clubs, going At out. clubs, it's always women. Oh, I just mean in general. When you go out, there's more women by themselves. That's what I mean. Okay. Okay. It's, it's always like that. So we'll say women. Especially nowadays, guys just hang out and play video games yeah. all day. We right, right, fucking right. talk to people. Right, like, we can really? stay at home be chill. We can do this and yeah. be chill. Straight. They're going to go outside all the time. Yeah, women like doing shit. Communicative. Yeah, not personal. We're going for uh, general. You know what? I'm going to say men because at my work, all the women say they like hanging out with men more. And the women are more catty and bitchy. Yeah, but that's them being more community. So are they more communicative or are they just talking shit? They're when, just talking. When, so. oh, okay. Well, maybe it's up in the air. So what are you saying? Women. I'm going to say men. I'm saying women. I don't know because I'm a social butterfly myself. See, so am I. Yeah, but you work with nothing but men. Uh, that's why I say men. <laughs> like, I work with men. I'm going to say men. Yeah, that department. The women though. who work with men, men gets to vote for us, guys. They See, for I worked in your department men. too, same thing. But yeah. I work in my department. All the women are the ones that fucking protective. Everybody. Yeah, protective women. Transgenders. Women. He's on my brother. <laughs> oh, man. oh wait, women. Pop dog. Oh. Women. Yeah, women. Okay. All right. They don't call Mama Bass right. for no reason. That's right. <laughs> What's that old Sarah Ooh. Palin line? Right. What's the difference between a hockey mom and a, and a bulldog? Lipstick. <laughs> Didn't hear that one. But yeah, it's I thought good. hockey moms were making <laughs> lipstick too. Patient. That's hard. Me? No. Um, probably women. Men have a quicker thing to blow Short their stacks. Women. Short fuse. Yeah, There's women. a reason. Men are more aggressive for a reason because we're supposed to supposed come to out. Yeah. yeah. Women, I said. We're supposed to wear women. I see women. I'm the more patient one out of, the, out of my relationship. But uh, yeah, women are definitely uh, usually more. Patient because That's what I'm saying. You have to have the patient of a saint. You have to. You stack him? Well, I was trying not to make uh, the clack sound. I'm Emotional. Because okay. you can hear it. Uh, uh, women, for sure. Women. 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 Oh, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> if we're going by the definition, I think you're meaning just women. Right? Responsible. Ooh. Given what, oh man, that's hard. But in California, in California, <laughs> this is no, this is where it gets into what Chuck talked about earlier. This is, gets into the sexist thing, but right now it's men. And in California, there's more lawyers who are willing to protect women who do nothing, and they'll get they'll get custody of the kids, and they don't do shit. 
and they're just there to seep off the government like my mom did for years, sit on her ass and collect welfare for years. But what are you doing to incentivize the kid to get up and get, go and do something for a living? So on this one, I'm going to vote men. Men always get the short end of the stick, and no, fuck that. I'm going to vote men on this. What was the question again? Who's more responsible? Who's more responsible? Who earns the cheddar and doesn't get shit? I guess men. Yeah, Papa Bear, bro. Yeah, I say men are more responsible, but according to the be. government, it's women. That's why they get rewarded. This fucking billboard. But, but it's actually not There's though, because billboards the guys saying that it's it. women. It's so bullshit. the guy's responsible for taking care of her still, even after he leaves her. It's, yeah. it's funny. Yeah. That in this, and we're still responsible. Yeah, we're yes. responsible. That's what I just said. In this yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they take the kids. You keep repeating everything. Steve, so this is Crump Fandango. Can you hear me? drinks in, <laughs> motherfucker. Okay? You should just, er, next time, just say, oh, that's a great idea. <laughs> Even though you just said it. Okay? But, so, but I do totally so, agree so with you. So next time, second yes. is what you should have said. Yes, exactly. Second. So what, so what you got to say is, oh, man, that's a fantastic idea. Yeah. You're right. I, I'm glad yeah. I thought of it. Fuck me. <laughs> yeah, fuck just me. Said. You're right. <laughs> I like how Spontaneous. We've gotten, I like how we've gotten racist and sexist Women. in this episode. <laughs> yeah. it's Racist? Spontaneous? Spontaneous. Okay. Given the few oh, the times I, the few clubs and bars I've been to, women. The very my experience has been women, women. especially at the casino. Women, go. Yeah, uh, women. He just said women. Yeah, I said women too. You don't. I people. say men. Well, uh, fuck you. Yeah. Well, you're wrong. Women. It's three <laughs> versus one. Passionate men. You want to give emotional to women, but I'm going to give passionate to men. Yeah. It's lust. Ca- lust. It kind of falls yeah. in the category Chuck was talking about, like the last question. I almost gave it to men only because men are so quick to Like I, like I told do Joe, he doesn't fall in love about fast. It more. He falls in lust Spontaneous fast. Spontaneous and shit. Because love's more like, I can't do anything without you. You're more like, yeah. I want to fuck the shit out of you. Yeah. Well, I've, I've been men in love before. True. want to fuck okay. the shit out of you. Yep. <laughs> no, um, <laughs> I would. <laughs> <laughs> like, you're, you're a lovesick man. Yeah. Uh, no, I, I, I agree that it's been be- – because think about this. For th- generations, uh, men have been programmed to go after the woman. You know, they, they have to be the dominant one. It's our you gotta nature. You got to do chants. You got to do the fucking it's our bird nature. song. Yes. Yeah, you, you got to give them flowers. <laughs> you got to give them roses. You have Fruff to, of those fucking feathers. You have to actually be passionate about getting that, getting that pussy. Yeah. Well, a little pussy peacock. Yeah. yeah. There no, you go. pussy peacock. No, it's just peacocking. Yeah, uh, yeah. Bukaki. Yeah. Bukaki. So, yeah. Bukaki. You gotta so let me fly. Men. Not into Bukaki, bro. Men. Men. Peacock. Men. Okay. Yeah. He so. said Bukaki, though. Well, let's see. Okay, here we go. Number one confidence. And 62% of men were voted as more confident in the relationship. 30, 37% of women. Let's go here uh, to the next one. It says um, this is the same thing for some odd reason, but uh, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> and it's still saying the same thing. What the fuck is going on here? Your internet. Can we get our intern out here to uh, fix this? He, he's inside, bro. Mm-hmm. He's your intern, not ours. Yeah. Jesus, he has, that fucked up, he has that fucked up list. Can we get the dog in here to start shitting everywhere. Let's do that. <laughs> We're talking about B. Yeah. Oh well, man. Listen, guys, I, you know, I'll help you with your stuff. Can we play an Eddie the commercial? Back. Yeah, fuck off. The fucking, oh, the the fucking foot's back? List. Yeah, the toe. <laughs> toe shows up when it wants to. <laughs> like Tatanka. <laughs> <laughs> Tatanka and the toe show up at the same time. And Joe hates both of them. Yep. <laughs> what are the odds? What are the odds? Why do you hate Native Americans, bro? <laughs> I was wearing the Native American uh, little the powwow one. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, Super fucking it. funny. Uh, nurturing and ninety four percent voted women Damn. are more nurturing. Part of six percent. They heard the word. Yep. Fine. Part of six percent. It's fucked up. You are the ninety nine percent honest and fifty nine percent said women. Ah, uh, that's three. Okay. Yeah. What are those guys hiding? Now, this one was almost uh, <laughs> down the independent, and 51% voted men were more independent than women. So just barely. Oof. Just barely. Faithful, 80% women. <laughs> no shit. Assertive, 50%, uh, 57% men. Well, of course, it's that word. 
Assertive sounds more aggressive. Faithful. We were watching Fatal Attraction the other day, and we were just like, who wants to fuck Glenn Close? Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? Like, like, fucking yeah. pirate. She, we were, I mean, we were, we were joking. Uh, she, she goes to hug Michael, uh, Michael Douglas, and and she's like, mm, you smell like menthol. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> disgusting. That's a beer and bad movies we should do. That was a bad. Yeah, but movie. actually, no, no, no. It's a bad movie now, but it was a good movie then. When Fuck them? When it was a hit, dude. That, that has nothing. So Britney Spears was a fucking top selling artist. So that means you're fucking great. Ooh. Hit me, baby, one more time. I'll still sing that shit, yo. Go for it. Ooh. My loneliness. Oh, Don't shit. do that. Stop. <laughs> no, I love that he started with the fucking verse and not yeah, the chorus. So I'm giving I. you fucking credit for that <laughs> shit. Yeah, that was fucking top notch. Laid back. 83, 83% men. Damn, I thought it'd be like at least 90. Damn, nailed yep. that one. That's <laughs> <laughs> the only one I got right. Outgoing. So so outgoing. 57% women. Hey, 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 hey. You're the only That's fucking two. loser on that one. I got two. Communicative. 78%. Women. Thought, oh. it'd be higher. Thought it'd be higher. Yeah, I got higher. three. Should I got higher. three. Protective. I think me and Joe are on a win streak. So yep. women. Sixty-four yeah. percent men. Whoa. I can see that. Wait, I can see it. So. I don't remember. Don't talk saying. about my bitch. I forgot. Did I say men or women were more protective? You said men. Okay. Patience. And sixty-four uh, percent women. Ah, I said myself. Patient. Me and I Joe are on a win streak, bro. Yep. We're we're fucking. Unstoppable. I think I'm pretty patient. For Emotional. My Ninety-one percent women. Yeah, damn. Thought it'd be like ninety-five. Nice. Toads. Responsible. Seventy-nine percent women. How can uh, that we be? All got that, wrong. that was it. Wait, that wait, was wait. it. We all got that that can't be. If the other. Oh my god, that doesn't even make that's sense. That's like one in one seven one. now. No, that's uh, bullshit. This is rigged. Against no, men. Seven and one. Seven this thing one. is rigged against seven men. One. Spontaneous. Fifty-three percent men. Okay. And I can passionate. Seventy-two percent women. Yeah. Okay. We got those wrong too. Damn it! <laughs> there it is. That hey, is ladies, this or that. Two passionate guys, right? Hey. <laughs> two wild and passionate <laughs> guys. <laughs> Anything to plug, ladies and gentlemen? The People Mover concert was pretty fucking awesome. It was fucking awesome. Big old hairy ding dong. I'm really disappointed you guys didn't make it. Um, I am too. By the so. way, Chuck, did you notice that in their concerts that are well lit, that they put trunks on? Yeah, I yeah. Didn't see that, and then I try to show you that they their big old hairy yeah, they have yeti around. dicks. Yeah. This is more of a private thing. Oh. They don't do that usually. They do yeti dicks and all. Yeah, yeah, they usually do yeti dicks, and in ours they did yeti dick. And yeah. well, make sure you guys listen to um, Beer and Bad Movies if it's still around. <laughs> on that <and>, note, <laughs> um, the bizarre and unexplained. That's uh, you can listen to that. Check it out, booze and the dudes. Thank you guys for listening. We'll see you later. This is the way. That it ain't no big step. I don't see why you so nice. The customers are all fucks and low lights. Don't fight, just keep your lips stiff and get that money. It's the weekend shift. But why they all gotta be freaks? Wish they would just eat and leave. And keep their eyes to themselves already. It's a spirit, I don't need any help. And you can blame the pride that makes you hold your anger inside. But deep down, you wanna curse them all. Fuck off, asshole, jerk off, dirt ball. You love love.